What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So March Madness is starting soon, so I thought I might as well make my uh make my official bracket on uh my channel. Um just so we can start some controversy in the uh in the comments down below. But um I'm gonna be picking who I think is gonna win. Um I'm gonna be picking my teams and I'm gonna try and give a little explanation. I don't want this to be too long of a video, but like you know, there's some games that people are going to have a lot of controversy with, but we'll see. All right, so let's just start off. Uh, we'll start off in the West here. Um, it doesn't really matter who wins this game. Gonzaga is going to win no matter what there. I mean, Gonzaga, I have in most of my uh, most of my brackets, Gonzaga going to the finals. Uh, we'll see what I have to do on this one. Um, in Oklahoma versus Missouri, Missouri Missouri's a weird seed at number nine. Um don't get me wrong, Missouri's a good team, but they really depend on um, one player. I forget what his name is, but I'm going to go with uh, Oklahoma there. So the next game is where it gets interesting. Um, Creighton is in the Big East, and I do like supporting my Big East folk. Um, but I think in this bracket, I'm going to have to go with UCSB as they are they're on a roll right now. And my next controversial pick right here is Ohio over Virginia. So Ohio is my team, man. This is the team I want them to win the whole thing. If they won the whole thing, I would love it. Um, they have been very hot recently. Um, they're coming off of some very good games. They ended up winning their tournament. Um, I'm trying to remember who's in their uh, in their division. You probably never heard of them. It's the Ohio Bobcats. They're on a roll right now. They started off the season injured, um, and ever since their players came back from injury, they've just, just whooped everyone. Um, so in this next game, we got USC. They have, um, they have that big guy Mobley. Um, he's a very good player. So I'm going to pick you, um, USC here. Um, Wichita State or Drake. I don't, I don't see either of them beating USC. Um, next one, Kansas, pretty easy one there. Um, this is where one, um, people have a lot of controversy on, uh, Oregon versus VCU. Um, I watched that finals game with VCU versus um, St. Bonaventure, and, you know, it, it was a good game. I just, I don't think VCU has the scoring power to um, keep up with Oregon. Um, the A-10 division is pretty good, but um, I just see Oregon kind of whooping their ass there. Um, and then we have one team here, Grand Canyon, who is expected to be very good, um, but... I mean, unfortunately, they have to go play Iowa uh, first round, so I have to pick Iowa. Luke Garza, um, he's gonna he's gonna bring his team uh, fairly far here. So now we got uh, Michigan versus uh, I forget these two teams, but I'm taking Michigan. Um, they have an injury. They have uh, his name's something Livers. Um, he's a the forward on their team. He's the starting forward. Um, he's a pretty he's a very good player, and it's unfortunate that they're not gonna have him. Because I would pick Michigan to win the whole thing if he was there, but he's not. So there's not much we can do there. So the next game we got LSU versus St. Bonaventure. The uh, the team I was talking about that beat VCU in the finals. I'm telling you, man, this LSU team is scary. Um, they have Thomas, who is an absolute scoring machine. The man's averaging like 23 points a game. Watch out. He's very, very good. Um, so now we got... Georgetown versus Colorado should be Seton Hall here, man. Should be Seton Hall, but you know Georgetown beat us. Georgetown whooped Creighton's ass. So I mean they're on a hot streak. I gotta pick them over Colorado. Colorado is a very good team, but they're coming off of a uh, loss to um, Oregon State in the finals. So I think that might disrupt them a little bit. And Georgetown's just looking too good not to pick there. Um, so now we have another hot team, UNC Greensboro. Um, they're a very hot team, but I don't see them, um, beating Florida State. They're, Florida State's a very good team. Um, their issue recently has been that they're turning over the ball a little bit too much, but if they can control themselves from, um, turning over the ball, then they should be fine. They have debatably one of the best six men in the country. He's a freshman. His name is, um, Scotty Barnes. He's very good. Um, so, so look for Florida State to make a little push here. So now this is where the um, games kind of come into play that haven't played yet. They play tomorrow at the time I'm recording this. Um, 
It is Michigan State versus UCLA. I think Michigan State's going to win that game. And then I think they're going to go on and win another one. Um, Michigan State, they know how to win. They are winning culture. They are the only team, I want to say they beat three top five um, top five teams in the nation. Don't ask me how, but they did. So I'm picking them right here. Next, we got Texas versus Abel Christian. Um, easy win on Texas. Texas is a very good team. They are very slept on. They're not really looked at that much this year, um, but expect them to make a little push here. So my next team, we got UConn versus Maryland. I've watched a lot of UConn, and I James uh, James Booknight is it James? I don't think it's James, but Booknight. He's a very good player, and um, I think he can bring them on a little push here. Uh, we got Alabama, Alabama versus Iona. Seton Hall beat Iona, so I'm going Alabama because um, I think Bama might beat Seton Hall. So I'm basing it off of that. Next, we got a team that's going to make a very far push in this tournament. We got Houston. They absolutely demolished their the American division. Um, they just they demolished everyone. There, there wasn't a team that was close to them other than Memphis. And Memphis got robbed and isn't in this tournament. So we don't have to worry about that. Next, we got some local. We got Rutgers versus Clemson. Clemson's not local, but Rutgers is. And I'm sorry. We got Clemson winning that game. They have some very solid players. If they can, if they're three point shots on, I can't see a lot of teams beating them. So next, we got West Virginia versus Moorhead State. West Virginia is a very interesting seed here. Um, they have them at a third seed. I do not agree with that at all. I want to pick Moorhead State to go over them. Because I do think Moorhead State is a very good team. But I think West Virginia is going to be able to squeak that one out. Um, and then they're going to have to play San Diego State in the next one. I know a lot of people are picking Syracuse here. And I, I'm telling you right now, this San Diego State team is very good. Um, if they were in the tournament last year, they were going very far. They were ranked like third in the nation. So just be careful for this San Diego State team, man. Um, I'll even put them past West Virginia here. Because I think they're going to go on a little push there. Um, unfortunately, they have to meet Houston in the next next round. So let's see here. Now we got Cade Cunningham of Oklahoma State. I know a lot of people that are Oklahoma State fanatics. I'm picking them to to beat Liberty here. It's going to be a very good game. Liberty is a very good team. They have a lot of experience. So expect a good, um, possibly a push from Liberty to, to go here. Um, but I'm picking Oklahoma State. So now we got Oregon State versus Tennessee. We got Tennessee on this one. Tennessee are some dogs, man. They play some hard defense. They can shoot the ball. They can drive. Very good team. So now I have what we, what I consider the hardest game to pick um, on the whole entire bracket, and that's Loyola Chicago, Georgia Tech. Um, I know a lot of people that are just closing their eyes and picking this game. But um, I got Loyola Chicago in this one. Um, they have allowed the least amount of points in the whole entire country at like 55 points, I want to say. Um, Georgia Tech also is a very good defensive team um, as they get like nine steals per game. But I honestly see Loyola Chicago pulling through here. Georgia Tech, if you watch that game against um, who they beat in the finals, are they, uh, I want to say it was Florida State. Florida State in the finals, maybe. Um, they... They are stealing machines, but if you also watched, they couldn't run a set to save their life. They couldn't score on them if they were in a set offense. They scored like 36 points off of turnovers. So I just, I don't see that happening with Loyola Chicago. I feel like they're a, they're a very um, strong team. They have a good connection. They run through their big man, um, and I can't see them turning over the ball that, that many times. But I mean, I guess we'll see. So now we got Illinois versus Drexel. I'm just picking Illinois there. That's an easy one. Same with Ohio State. Not much to talk about there. We got Florida versus Virginia Tech. Um, this is a very tough game to pick as well, as um, Virginia Tech is a very solid team. Um, Florida is also, once again, a solid team. And this is this game I've done my research for. It's all going to come down to rebounding, and I think Florida is a better rebounding team. So now we have one of my favorite teams in the whole entire tournament. And that is not Colgate. That is Arkansas. They have some of the best players in this country. Um, they have debatably one of the best freshmen in the country of uh, Moses Moody. He um, is just an absolute animal. The man's averaging like 18 points per game, and he's just very good. They also have what I consider the be best six man in the country 
in JD Note. So look for them to make a strong push. If they're hitting their shots, there's not a lot of teams that are beating them. Um, so now we got Texas Tech versus Utah State. This is this is a very tough game here, as you have Mac McClung versus the tw some towers over here. Oh, uh, Utah State's one of the best rebounding teams in the the country, um, and it's all gonna come down to if Texas Tech can shoot. Um, and and I most of my brackets I'm picking Texas Tech, but here I think I'm gonna pick Utah State just to switch it up a little bit. Um, honestly, like I could see Utah State being Texas Tech here. Um, they average like 43 rebounds per game. Texas Tech averages about 36. Um, and you, I mean, you know, rebounds, re rebounds wins college games. So, uh, I'm going with Utah State there. Next, we got Purdue versus a very veteran North Texas team. I'm picking Purdue there. They have that freshman, um, he's very good, very tall, like 7-1. Um, he's got good moves and they have, um, Williams, who's also very good. So now we got Vill injured Villanova versus Winthrop here. Um, dude, it's Villanova. I don't see Villanova honestly losing in the first round anytime soon. Um, yeah, they're missing Colin Gillespie here. But um, honestly, like Winthrop, they've lost one game. They just don't have the competition that Villanova does. Villanova still competed even though they did not um, have Colin Gillespie. And I, I see them at least getting past one more round. We got a very hot North Carolina Tech um, team versus Wisconsin, so I'm picking North Carolina there. Um, and then you got Baylor, Baylor Hartford, and I'm going Baylor there. Um, this this is going to be an interesting bracket because I've been doing my research, and there's one team that I have yet to pick that I think is going to win this whole tournament. Um, so make sure you stay till the end to see that. So now we got some pretty easy games here. We got Gonzaga. Um, I I don't really have to talk about Gonzaga too much. And then I got my boys in Ohio, man. I'm telling you, I think this is going to happen. And, I mean, as soon as you get here, you're playing Gonzaga. So, I mean, even if they do win, uh, it shouldn't mess up my bracket too much, hopefully. But um, let's see. We got USC versus Kansas. I'm going to pick USC here. Um, USC is a very, very solid team. That's all I have to say. They're very solid. If they don't turn over the ball and play good defense, they can beat any team in this whole entire bracket. Uh, like I said, they have that big man that's very good. Uh, Mobley, he's very good. So I'm going to pick them to win over Kansas here. So now we got Oregon versus Iowa. Bam, big man. And there it is. Let's see here. Moving down. We got Michigan versus LSU. This LSU team is dirty. I'm telling you. Be careful. LSU can make a very strong push. They're going to ruin a lot of brackets, and I already know it. So that's why I'm moving them here. So now you got your hot Georgetown team versus Florida State. I think Florida State's going to whoop them. Um, you know, someone's got to bring them down to earth. So I'm hoping uh, that Florida State can do that. So now you got Michigan State versus Texas. This is a very strong Texas team, so I'm just going to pick them. Same with Alabama. We already got here. We already selected here. We got Tennessee versus Oklahoma State. Tennessee is a little bit more veteran than Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is a very young team as they're expecting Kate Cunningham to bring their team to the finals. And I'm sorry that Tennessee is about to ruin that. Um, very unfortunate, but, uh, you know, sorry, Cade. So now you got one of my favorite games. That I am hoping this happens. Loyola Chicago versus Illinois. Now, don't get me wrong here. Loyola Chicago could go on a run here, but Illinois is a scary team. They got um, Desuno and Coburn. They are both, they are, in my opinion, the best duo um, right near the Jalen Suggs-Timmy duo. Um, but I, I think the Illinois duo, Illinois duo is, is absolutely nasty, and uh, they're just going to roll through this, honestly. Um, even though I think this is going to be a very close game. So next we got Florida versus Ohio State. We got a hot Ohio State team going on right now. Um, they almost beat Illinois in OT. If you watch that game, that was a wild game. Um, and, you know, I just see them moving on here uh, against, uh, against a, you know, so-so Florida team. So now we have Arkansas versus Utah State. Arkansas, like I said, if they heat up, they're, they're going far. 
So now we got Villanova versus Purdue. Injured Villanova ain't beating a you know healthy Purdue. And then we have one of my favorite teams here, Baylor versus North Carolina, and we're picking Baylor here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save Baylor talk for a little bit later, um, just because I could talk about him for a long time. So now I'm gonna snap back into reality here. We got Ohio versus Gonzaga, and I'm gonna pick Gonzaga there. Yes, I know I'm picking. Uh, I want them to go. I want them to go all the way, man. But it's not probably not gonna happen. So now you got USC versus Iowa. So if you've watched Iowa games, this is where I think this could get interesting here. You have two of the best centers in the league here. And if you watched Michigan versus Ohio, um, Michigan's big man Dixon, Dixon, I'm pretty sure, um, he locked him down. Um, don't get me wrong, he's a very good player. He's a freshman. He's a very good player. But I mean, if he's going against Mobley, I'm going to have to pick USC to go here, man. USC versus Gonzaga. That should be a good matchup. We got the California matchup. So let's go down here some more. We got LSU, the hot LSU versus Florida State. Um, this is a. Uh, I forget. No, I don't, no they haven't played. Um, not that. I'm trying to remember my divisions now, my conferences. But I'm picking LSU here, man. Um, Florida State, they have a very bad tendency to just choke. And I think this could be the game they choke in. Um, they if they can't score the ball, they're done for. LSU can score the ball, and that's all I gotta say. They can score the ball. This is just gonna be a run and gun match here, and I think LSU could win that. Now we got Texas versus Alabama. Once again, this is a very solid Texas team, um, but I gotta pick Alabama here. Alabama is a very good team. Um, they could make a very strong push here. Um, now we got a very good game: San Diego State versus Houston. Houston's rolling. And we have Illinois versus Tennessee. You got to go with Illinois there. So let's see here. Moving up. We got Arkansas versus Ohio State. This is a tough game to pick. Uh, I'm just going to look at what they say here. I mean, they got Ohio State on everything. But like I said, that's all I got to say. Arkansas is heating up. If they're shooting right, then I'd pick them any day of the week here. And I think that's what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some controversy in the freaking comment section here. That's my goal at this point. So now let's move on. We have Baylor versus Purdue. Baylor, gonna pick them. I'm just gonna do these two picks right here because they are um, fairly easy for me. I think Bay Baylor can beat Arkansas, and I think Gonzaga is gonna beat USC. And let's see here. Now we have LS hot LSU team versus Alabama. I think Bama can could make a push here. Um, and then we got Illinois here. So, when it comes down to it, we have one seed, two seed, one seed, one seed. Uh, Michigan Michigan is the one team I just... Uh, they're a one seed, man. But without livers, I... It's going to be tough. That's all I got to say. So, we got a couple more picks. So, Gonzaga versus Alabama. I'm going to have to go to the Zags here. And this is where I'm going to differ from a lot of my brackets. And I'm going to pick Baylor. And I will pick them to win the whole thing, actually, in a defensive showcase of a 65-59 game. Actually, 70-64 game. Baylor to win it. And let me explain to you why. Baylor... Is probably the most veteran team here. They are a very solid team. Ran through Jared Butler. Their defense is unmatched. They have one of the best defenses in the country. And if they're heating up on offense, if their shooting's on, a lot of this is dependent on if their shooting is on or not. But I'm just gonna you gotta assume that it is gonna be, or your bracket's just gonna be a bunch of freaking upsets. Um but overall I think Baylor is a team a lot of people aren't picking to win here. Um, I, I haven't seen a bracket where Baylor wins. But um, I honestly believe that, you know, Baylor can go somewhere um, in this tournament. And I think they can win the whole thing. So let's let's submit my pick. But a bing but a boom. I picked Baylor to cut the nets down in Indianapolis. Damn right I did. And if you don't like it, tell me in the comment section below. Tell me who you have winning. Tell me which picks you disagree with. 
let's let's talk in the comment section man that's all i want to do so i hope you guys enjoyed um once again let me know in the comments who you are picking to win your bracket if you want me to do a competition on my youtube channel let me know i'll do it um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time peace out